subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is parasitism parasitism now it is a relationship between two organisms in which one organism either lives within or upon the body of the other organism the one which lives within or upon the body is referred as the parasite and the other on which the parasite grows or lives is known as the host now in this case it is the parasite that is benefited while the host is harmed the parasites are smaller in size and they get the food and shelter from the host the parasite reduces the survival growth reproduction and population density of the host means it makes the host physically weak so that it is more vulnerable to the predators this life cycle is shortened and their reproductive potential is decreased leading to an alter alteration in the population the parasites are host specific means they can grow only on particular species now the parasites and the host they tend to co evolve the host tries to develop mechanisms to resist or to prevent the growth of the parasites while the parasites develop mechanisms to counteract and neutralize the mechanisms developed by the host so that it becomes successful to live within the host now since the parasite depends upon the host for its food and shelter it develops special adaptations like there are loss of unnecessary sensory organs they develop adhesive organs by which they can get attached to the host these adhesive organs act as suckers by which they get attached to the host loss of digestive system takes place and their reproductive potential or their reproductive capability increases parasites have a complex life cycle they may involve one or two intermediate hosts also known as vectors to facilitate parasitism to the specific host for example human liver fluke depends on two vectors and they are snail and a fish they need these two intermediate host or vectors to complete their life cycle S 
Now another example is malarial parasite which needs a vector that is a mosquito to spread the parasite to other hosts. Types of parasites. First the ectoparasites. Now the ectoparasite grow on the body or the outer surface, body surface of the host. Like for example, lies in human, ticks in dog, leech, copepods on marine fish, lack insects on plants and cascuta. Cascuta is a parasitic plant that grows on hedges. As you can see, this is cascuta. Now this plant has no leaves and even no chlorophyll. As it derives nutrition from the host, host plant. Endoparasites. Now they live within the body of the host. At different regions like liver, kidney, lungs, RBC. Now they have a complex life cycle. As they get specialized, examples are tenia, which is a gut parasite, ascaris, an intestinal parasite, trypanosoma, a body fluid parasite, and plasmodium, which is grows in the RBC of humans. Now, these endoparasites have the morphological and anatomical features simplified. As you can see, the tenia, ascaris, they are very simple to see. While the reproductive potential or the reproductive capacity is increased, that help them to spread. Next type is hyperparasitism. They are parasites growing on parasites. Like bacteriophages, they grow on bacteria. Similarly, pastorella, which grows on rat flea. Next is temporary parasites. Now, temporary parasites do not always remain attached to the surface or the body of the host. They get attached only for a short period and then move off like mosquitoes, leech, bed bug. Next type is brood parasitism. Now in this, the parasitic bird lays eggs in the nest of the host bird along with the eggs of the host bird. So when the host bird incubates its eggs, in turn it also incubates the eggs of the parasitic birds. Now in the course of evolution it has been seen that the egg of the parasitic bird resemble the host egg not only in size and color so that they do not get detected by the host bird. Now the best example of brood parasitism can be seen during the breeding season 
that is in the spring to summer that cuckoo lays egg in the bird's nest crow sorry crow's nest plant parasites now there may be plants growing on other plants or animals growing on the plants they are divided into two types holoparasites and hemiparasites holoparasites means total parasite they are completely dependent on the plant for the nutrition example rafflesia the largest flower is a total root parasite cascuta as we have just seen is a total stem parasite while viscum and loranthus a hemi parasite that is partial parasites they are the partial stem parasites now besides this root nematodes they are parasites to the roots of the plants affecting their growth and yield that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching